very different. We are out here in front of Paddle 9. This is one of the top tour agencies in the area. They offer things such as paddle boarding, surf lessons, full day waterfall tours. And today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of equipment testing, I guess I could say. <laughs> Uh, they basically bought brand new kayaks that are inflatable and they're super high tech and we're gonna go and test them out in the mangroves and then we're gonna be going out into the ocean. So come along for a good day with us and we're gonna see what happens. I honestly don't know what I'm getting into but we're gonna find out soon. Alright guys, we are currently picking up our equipment. We're gonna get some paddle boards, we're gonna get some kayaks, we're gonna get paddles to paddle along. We are kind of like halfway to the mangrove area. I mean technically this is all mangrove area, but it's all being constructed on top of. And so yeah, we're gonna basically go over to Damas where we can enter the river slash mangroves. And oh my god, I'm so excited to do this because I have not done this with, yet with you guys and I've been waiting for so long almost a year I've been trying to plan this trip now and we've got this so we're just waiting for the equipment now and then we'll be moving on point we've got Sarah way back there we've got Jose we've got a whole pile of people <laughs> and we're just unloading all of the kayaks and paddle boards right now and we're gonna be getting into the water and exploring the mangroves I mean this place is so freaking cool there's so many animals there's trees literally growing out of the water there's just roots everywhere I think I've kind of explained this to you guys in some of my previous videos but like look at this just right behind me we're gonna be up in that. So we're gonna go and get our stuff together and get into that water. here to drive it. This is out of this world different. There's all kinds of wildlife here. You can see white-faced monkeys, uh, you can see crabs, all kinds of birds, tiger herons. Alligators, well, not really alligators, crocodiles. crocodiles. Here we have crocodiles. We ain't got alligators over here. No alligators. But we do have the mini crocodiles too, and they're kind of all over the place. But we're not going to see any of those today, I don't think. Maybe. And we're going to crash. It's very easy to get lost here. And that's something that nobody wants because when the tide starts going down, you're stuck.
if you guys heard at any point during these clips, but you hear like a clicking sound every now and again. And that is little clams or like mussels closing up. So it's kind of cool. You're just sitting here and you can hear all that amongst the birds, amongst the water, amongst the wind blowing. Pretty cool. So you can actually see right here, there's a little entrance and you can get in there only during the high tide. And it's really cool. You'll see the trees so close around you. It looks like you're literally in, I don't know, one of those like Studio Ghibli movies. <laughs> it's really neat. If you ever get the chance, you should definitely try to get in there. peaceful especially when you go on a kayak and as opposed to like a bow or in my case a jet ski because it's so quiet just look okay take a second to listen see this is amazing and this kayak is like out of this world I've never I never imagined that there could be something like this where you're just steering with your hand like <laughs> It feels very unnatural to not have the paddle with you, but hey, that's the way it is. We are going into this little nook. It's one of the like back streams, laneways. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. But this is where the nature really starts to happen. The mangrove we we're basically just going back the same way because otherwise we would end up in the ocean and that's not where we want to go well we do want to go there but we're gonna get there by car and so basically we're going on to our next stop and it's also our well kind of our final stop we still have to stop for lunch at some point so we're gonna be cruising through here it's like a workout so yeah we're gonna go back to the entrance and make our way to a spot that you guys probably don't know too much about, or at least on my account. So let's go. What, like high noon? Look at my face. <laughs> it's 
Sarah's dying too. I'm dead. She did a leg workout yesterday and that was a mistake. I'm like so close to just dumping this water on top of me. <laughs> so yeah, we're just tidying up now. We need to reload all the kayaks back onto the trailer. Okay. We're gonna chill. Lower our redness levels and heat levels because we're too hot to talk. And we'll see you in the next stop. I've told you yet, she's a professional paddleboarder. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have made it to the spot. We're covered in ceviche. We, we are. are mildly full from eating kind of like a, a, a different take on a caldosa. <laughs> a moving caldosa. <laughs> Spilling ceviche everywhere. So now we are in Maracas. It's basically right next to the park called Naomi which is pretty much right across the street from the marina or I guess all the way at the end. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. I'll put a map somewhere down in the description. Uh, if you've been here before, let us know about your experience in the comments. And so what we're going to be doing here is throwing the same kayaks into that water and getting some content. I don't think I'm getting in the water. I will be getting in the water at some point just to get the ceviche off my body. <laughs> but um, Sarah, are you going to get in the water? Probably yeah. after freshen up. It's really really hot day yeah. after that mangrove tour. That was really really hot. So yeah. get the ceviche and the sweat off. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're in the middle of March. This is pretty much the hottest month that we can get down here in Capos, and it dry. is like dry heat. Yeah, there's no dry, rain, dry. and once April comes, it's gonna start raining a little bit more. But those are gonna be like major storms, and then it's gonna be even hotter <laughs> during the day. So we're living in Costa Rica, guys. It's hot, but it's nice. So we're gonna get our kayaks in the water and um, see how we float along. viewing spot right there and I handed the GoPro off to Sarah because she's gonna be getting in the kayak while I stay back here and do some filming for the team so I'm gonna go set up camp I'm here waiting everyone's taking off right now and I can see Sarah out there floating she's already doing some videoing look at her well, she was, not anymore. She's out there floating right in the center. There's everyone taking off. All right, guys. Sarah Cam right over here. Emma's all the way over there. So we're gonna be giving you a little in-tour perspective. Everyone's just kind of getting on their kayaks. Beautiful day out here. Pretty, pretty, pretty.
All right, guys, so we are finishing up here, and I honestly don't even know if we're going out for lunch or not, but we're gonna Hopefully. end the video here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're hoping, because it's been a long day, and we're hungry. Very, very hungry, yes. Um, so, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be prepared to see more content with Paddle 9. I have some plans coming up in the next few weeks, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow Sarah. Oh, what's thank your Instagram? You for the We're gonna like put it down here somewhere um, for you guys. I don't know what so it is. So it's but. Sarah Reed. <laughs> Sarah Reed. I'll put the link down here for you guys so you can just go and find that for yourselves. And um, she's also starting up a little tour company thing. So I'll put the website down in the description below so you can go and check that out so you yes. can start planning your trips down to Costa Rica. And yeah, we're out. Pura Subscribe vida. to the channel. Pura Vida. <laughs> Ciao. Adios. Bye. <laughs>